Hello guys, it's Sunday and it's a good day because there's a new round of the Nightmare Corridor which we're going to go through in this video and I believe there's a lot of improvements to be made for most accounts. I'm currently in the top 100 um, but I <laughs> I don't expect to stay there. Um, but yeah, we'll also be looking at the uh, Cursed Realm formations and then the, um, the Treasure Scramble later on in the video. So first things first, what's this notification? Oh, I managed to kill the six bosses within one minute. Uh, 150 seconds well that's a nice achievement uh let me go show you guys how i managed to do that now every time there's a new nightmare corridor boss the potential of gaining a lot of ranks is very high because most people they don't you know they're, they're gonna have to figure it out by themselves um and there aren't many guides around so let's take a look at what i have been doing as you can see currently, obviously in the region seven, the easiest region, but I am in the top 100 this time around. I do expect to drop, uh, especially now that I share my teams, if you guys are in a similar region. So this first team here, um, this is uh, the Brutus team, right? Uh, things to note in here is that I'm using Liberta in here. Uh, normally people use Damian here, but I'm using Liberta in here because I need Damian in the um, in the uh, Scarlet team. I'm using the Fox Pet. You can use the Talisman as well to just about the same effect. I just took the Fox Pet to 18. Um, so that's why I tested it out. And it, it was like, I mean, seconds better, but not really that much better. Uh, this team is pretty flexible. You can throw in a lot of things in here. I'll also show you guys some different variations of the teams later on. Um, the main thing you can do in here is if you have Gavius built, you can throw him in here. Uh, and if you have Damia, you can toss him in here. And the bird is definitely uh, a hero you might need elsewhere but i did not which is why he is here next team here we go this is the uh, scarlet team this is the high rng team for me um oh i forgot i'll just show you guys the collections real quick uh again my collections aren't good so yeah here they are anyways if you guys care about that uh right the scarlet team so this is where i use damia the top pe people can get away uh, with not using damia um for me Using Damia just made this team go so much faster uh, compared to without Damia. And here are the collections. Uh, the only thing of note here is, I believe my Scarlet collection is actually pretty good. Uh, but yeah, the rest of them, <clears throat> the rest of them don't matter that much. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty heavy RG team. It hits for you know twenty eight seconds, and then all of a sudden, randomly, it hits for well eighteen seconds, as you can see here, because the stars aligned. Um, one thing to note is that the panda you want at level 18, if you don't have the panda at level 18, you can use the Blade Ridge pet or the um, the Winged Lion at lower investments at 15. I believe the uh, the um, Blade Ridge pet is the best pet uh, down to level 12. And uh, under level 12, I'm not sure. I haven't done any testing of that myself. But yeah, panda at 18, below 18, use Blade Ridge or Winged Lion. Next up, here is the Baden team. There's nothing of note in this Baden team. It's the same team that it has always been. Uh, in this round uh, and here are the uh, collections on my heroes um, not much to note here um, yeah higher tree and, and higher pet and higher investment will obviously yield you more damage the only thing you need to know about this team is that if you don't have Tresius engraving 30 this team will not work at all um, so you need that uh, before you can make this team next up here we go <clears throat> this is the uh, seal team uh, I'm using a Leica variant uh, along with along with rain uh, if you need rain uh, i didn't mention but rain can be slotted in here instead of um, damia <clears throat> but if you need rain uh, in this team uh, there's a lot there's lots of different things you can toss into the uh, seal team <clears throat> for example liberta can work in the seal team um mishka can work in the seal team pretty much any speedy hero i, I believe maybe antandra can work that I'm not actually too sure about that. I can't really remember the uh, the formations difference here in, in here, um, but I'll show you guys a, a different variant later on. But yeah, basically you're using, um, well, I'm using Lyca as the carry, but the main carry is the seal along with a speedy team. Uh, and if you don't have Lyca, try throwing in Mishka and see, and see what happens. Uh, and also you can use Naruko in here as another one, but I use her in another team, which I'll show you guys. Now, and here are the collections. Uh, one thing to note, I took um, the Awakened version of Laika to the 40 signature item. She is my first 40 signature item. And that's because I believe this effect, uh, unlike most other 40 signature item effects, are act is actually really good uh, for Laika. So that's why I took her up. Um, next up, here we have the Baden team. Now, I don't own a Baden, so that's why I marked a, a very strong, excuse me, a very strong Baden. 
One thing to note for this round, uh, the Morgana round, uh, is there's a debuff going on, which means you need to use either three Wilders or Grave Bonds, I believe. I'm using the three Wilder variant, uh, and that gives a lot of extra damage, which uh, which in turn allows which in turns which in turn allows this team to speed up a bunch. English is not an easy language. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm running out of voice, uh, so we are heading on to the next one. And here are my collections. <laughs> and well, I can see that I forgot to put a collection onto Laika, but she's only there for the haste buff. So I guess that's all right. Lastly, here is the uh, the new round, uh, the new boss, the, squ the Swamp Corruptor. And uh, luckily, or unluckily, depending on if you have Athalia built, Athalia, the Athalia team that was just swapped out swaps into this new boss, so she actually stays. And for that reason, I took Athalia up to a signature item 40 as well. So she is my second hero. She's the, the second out of two heroes that I have at um, engraving or uh, signature 40. Uh, and the reason for that is I, if she's going to be in this round, and gain as much as she does. She, she does gain a lot of speed from uh, signature item 40. Uh, if you guys have her at 30, you can try to replicate my team and just, you can just tell the difference, right? Um, but yeah, she gains a lot of speed. Uh, and if she's going to stay in this round, she's going to stay here for five months. Uh, and that I view as a worthy investment. Anyways, um, there's a bunch of variations in here. For example, if you have Orthos at nine furniture, you can try him in here. For me, that was not better. If you have Skrek, you can try him in here. For me, that was not better. Uh, I would do I would do both of those over Lawson. Uh, if you have, um, what is he called? Mortis, uh, you can try him in here. But for me, again, that was not better. Uh, but yeah. Here are the uh, the heroes, right? Here are the collections. And I can tell that I forgot to put a Lawson collection. And also forgot to mention that actually... <laughs> yeah, uh, I completely blanked. I actually, I did Pormus, uh, Pormus uh, SI40 as well. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail on why I did that. But yeah, that's my third uh, SI40. Anyways, so here are my, uh, my team, right? Um, just a real quick run through again here. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with all the RNG times. Uh, I think they hit closest, close to max, which is also why I'm able to hold such a high ranking for now. Uh, but I do believe that this time is pretty mu much optimized as to uh, like my account investment. I don't think I can go much higher, especially with the team one without having Brutus ascended, right? Um, but yeah, anyways, um, let me go quickly head over to the browser real quick. Um, and I'll also uh, come back to Nightmare Corridor later on in the video once we check out the, the crowdsourcing Discord. Um, but this is a team that helped me a lot, um, or not actually helped me a lot, but this is a team that I looked at from um, Vertex over at the crowdsourcing Discord server. And the main thing I wanted to show you guys this team is because, first of all, he doesn't run a Leica in here, as, as you can see, uh, the time is very similar to mine. Uh, second of all, uh, he does not run Damia in this team, right? He runs... Um, it runs rain in here. Uh, I'll also link this image in the description. Don't worry. So if you want to look at it yourself. And then he runs a Damia in here. And if you have Damia, no, if you have Brutus uh, ascended at good investment, then pulling Damia into this team is well worth it. You can get a very good time. Uh, and then other things to note, uh, he's also running the Wilder variant. And then down here, he's interestingly enough, he's running the, um, the Mortis variant with the Awakened version of Shimira. I actually tried this one out as well but that was before i did my uh, si40 athalia so that was a terrible team for me however uh i actually i, I haven't actually tried this out um with my 40 athalia uh, but i'm not willing to spend any more retries but uh, yeah this team could definitely hold some potential uh, but my team was uh, slightly faster anyways so that's it for the nightmare corridor and now let's head over to the cursed realm now <clears throat> Excuse me. Cursed Realm. Again, I, disclaimer as always, this is a, a an RNG fest. Uh, it's actually a bit more steady than the usual Cursed Realm rounds. I managed to do 85-ish billion damage. I'm happy with that. Um, the main thing about this is uh, this round that I like is that you don't actually need Awakened version of Lucius, uh, which allows me to compete a lot more because I functionally Functionally, I have all the Awakened Heroes required to have a decent hit on this boss, even though I don't have Lucius, because there's a strong replacement for Lucius, which I will show you once we get to that team. So the first team, it's a Baden team. Collections, not much to note. I 
I can tell that I didn't play around with Mortis gear. Usually I do that and that can yield some extra damage, but it's a bit of an RNG fest with this team. It either hits for 12 or it hits for 21 um, billion damage, right? Uh, yeah, let's move on. I believe if you don't have a Fox at 15, you can try out the... Uh, the ro What is that pet called? Oh, that's gonna... Sorry, guys. <laughs> you can try out... Where is he? Here we go. You can try out the Fire Breather pet. There you go. Um, that was what you did before the uh, the Spooder released. Uh, but enough about that. Let's head back to team. This team. So yeah, again, try out the Fire Breather pet if you don't have a high Spooder. Um, and yeah, these are the heroes. Merka Baden. I'm Merka Baden. Baden is pretty needed. Next team. Yeah, I mean, it's the Belinda team, right? With Shimira uh, that keeps uh, Linda alive. Uh, you're using the Owl in here. And then obviously... Lavatune, Damia, and uh, Palmer for buffers for Linda, and Linda just pops off, right? Um, but yeah, it's an expensive team, right? Here are my investments, here are my collections. The only good collection here is, I think my Palmer collection is actually, or not Palmer, sorry, my uh, Lavatune collection is actually decent. Uh, the rest is something that you should be able to acquire yourself because they're not very good. Next team, um, here I'm running Rem. Uh, and this is actually a low hit for Rem, but because of the RNG in uh, in Team 1, this is still my best hit. Uh, things you can do in this Rem team, you can play around the, with the uh, positioning of uh, Joan of Arc. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's 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 pretty locked. Like, you, you kind of do need Sophia, and I'm using the Panda at level 18. Uh, now, this is the curse of having the Panda at level 18. I haven't even tested other pets in this team, but I'd imagine other pets work, right? Um, like, for example, I'd imagine Winged Lion works in here. Uh, great. Now I'm using that elsewhere. But yeah, you can try a generic buffing pets and they'll probably do fine in here. But one pet you don't want to use in here, well, obviously it's the SEAL team. So let's just talk about the SEAL team now that we're here. Uh, here I popped my trial for this guy, um, mainly because I wanted to push my, um, my tower, right? My hypogen tower. It didn't end up... <laughs> It, as it turned out, I wasn't able to push much, push much in that tower anyways without Matria, but yeah, I gave it a, a try. But he fits into this uh, SEAL team, right? He groups up and he CCs the enemy team. Um, here are my collections, right? I'm using Kines and Rook. There are lots of different variations, and I kind of want to scroll through those um, later on in the video because not a lot of people have Crook build out, but you can use like Nevanthi in here. You can use um, Leonardo da Vinci in here, you can use Awakened Bruises in here, Awakened Matria in here. It's a SEAL team. The main thing is just keeping the team, team alive so the SEAL can do its damage. Um, but it's also pretty RNG for me at least. At like 10 was a good hit for me. Usually it did like 9-ish. Next up, this is where most people would use um, Awakened Lucius. Now I don't have Awakened Lucius. I could merc him, but the gains... <laughs> or I can't even imagine a team 1 without Baden, right? You could probably do some sort of cringe shenanigans, but I'm not willing to sit here and test it. Uh, and thus, I ended up using this team. Um, and this is the uh, the group up Soulless Vithil Stunlock team with the uh, with the Fox pet. Now, uh, if you don't have the Fox pet at high investment, a, a pet that works just as well is the Talisman. Um, it actually synergizes very well with the grouping theme of this team. And also because all these heroes are hypergen heroes. Um, the Talisman also crowd controls them. So yeah, the Talisman is, is just as good, if not better, uh, for this team. Uh, if you have that, at, at I don't know what the investment is for that, but I believe it's like 15 or 12 for the Talisman. And for the uh, the Fox, I, I believe it's a bit higher, like at least 15 and probably 18 if you want to out-compete the Talisman. Here are the uh, collections. Uh, I guess the only thing that's noteworthy is that uh, Tamras has the plus one on this collection, which is the Cheat Death. Uh, I don't know if it... That actually uh, matters in this team, but that is something of note if you can't get it to work. Next up, uh, last but not least, uh, this is the team that everyone uses. There's no innovation here. Um, I guess one thing that I should tell you is that Rosa is following Gress and not Athalia. So you need to make sure um, that you get Rosa to follow Gress. Uh, that's the only thing of note in here. Uh, and then here are the uh, collections. Again, mine aren't uh, anything to yell up or yell about. That doesn't work in English. Anyways, let's head over to the browser real quick and look at two different uh, screenshots for the uh, Curse Realm. Now, the first screenshot here is uh, from the crowdsourcing server. It's from Wimmy uh, and the... Wait a minute. 
this is not a curse realm screenshot actually i forgot to show that with the nightmare corridor uh, i'll link it below uh, the main thing is because he's using gavius in here which i wanted to share uh, and no damien here and then also a like a variant different than mine but yeah uh, let's just head over to the uh, curse realm screenshot that i uh, used uh, i don't know if i used it like my teams were pretty much the same as last time um with a few different changes but uh, yeah and here's another guy that you could look at he has pretty similar damage to mine uh, and i think our teams are actually the same but you can't view his pets um but yeah here is the uh, seal team as you can see his seal team does like 1.3 1 billion 1.5 billion probably more than mine but again is that really worth it probably not like um, and the main thing is he has matria and then in this team he's using the uh, lucius team right but as you can see i actually uh, i believe my team <laughs> actually hit higher without Lucius. No, never mind. I, I did 9.7. So yeah, I mean, I guess Lucius is a 500 million damage increase in this team. Um, but look at this investment, right? That does not seem worth to me as a free-to-play player. And then we agree on the last team. Um, before I finish off the Cursed Realm, let me just hit back into the game. There we go. I promised you guys some uh, seal variants, right? So let's just take a look at those. Um, so yeah, uh, you can use Fire Breathe and this tip this team but here's a seal variant well i'm using crook still but with nevanthi and let's see here here's a crookless seal variant right with nevanthi and then uh, leonardo and i believe that's actually the variants that i run because then i popped his trial and it just turns out this was the best seal team that i could make right i've talked about the nightmare corridor i've talked about the cursed realm uh, let's head over to the treasure scramble now a tragedy befell me in the treasure scramble because I was actually ranking in the top 40 <laughs> for a long time, uh, but I forgot to update my my uh, teams at the uh, four team stage, so I just dropped down to one percent, and now I'm working my way back up slowly. But uh, here are my current teams in the treasure scramble. So this first team is a seal team, and it's working out great, like way better than expected. This is a great seal team using, well, it you know it's ungodly amounts of expensive like it doesn't get more expensive like it's an awakened hero and uh, the rest are still hypo heroes um then i'm using a chimera team now i need to change this chimera team because it's not doing it for me like chimera is usually at a very high percentage win rate and uh, as you can see here 25 percent uh it's not acceptable for me uh what is acceptable for me though is this team uh, which you might have thought was the rem team but as you can see there's no rem in this team usually there's a rem in this first position but here we're actually just running a sophia carry team with the panda pet and because it's the ice for uh the ice rotation this team is uh, really really strong and that actually you know obviously that frees up rem and then you can toss rem into the uh the fourth team here, which is a dimensional team. Uh, and then I'm also tossing in uh, Awakened um, Athalian here uh, with the Rock Pet for survivability. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just had Awakened Athalia to spare, so I tossed it in, her in here. But yeah, these are my current teams. I haven't done my five teams uh, yet, so I don't want to share. I mean, you can see my previous five teams, but uh, I doubt these are any good or up to date, but yeah, here they are. And I guess I could show you guys my sixth team from last round as well. Um, but yeah, uh, don't get baited into using Belinda in this round. She is uh, very, very, very bad in the ice round. Anyways, that does it. Um, if you guys uh, have a holiday going on, I hope you have a happy holiday. Uh, no matter what, I hope you have a good <laughs> abyssal expedition. Uh, I know I have been missing a lot of sleep. Uh, and that's probably why I got sick because of the uh, Abyssal Expedition. But that's it for me. Um, sorry for the rambling video. Sorry for the sniffling voice. But hopefully my formations could help you guys improve your time. See you.